All right, well, here I am again doing some more uh, experimenting with the SLX uh, Swing Logic uh, sensor. And today I've got something uh, a little bit, hopefully, better. I've got an iPad now and I've got the app. Uh, only problem is I can't, can't uh, airplay it on my TV, bigger TV, but I'd like to put it out here so I can see it better and record at the same time, screen record and all that stuff. So I'm trying to cheat. I've got a camera set up in the yard and I've got uh, a microphone. I've had this mic for a little while, but it doesn't work with my good phone. So with my old phone recording, but it works in there. So anyway, some things I wanted to talk about now. Normally, um, you get this thing, you get three or four of them, three of them, I think, extra, and you get one that comes on the swing stick and attachments to go on your club. But let me show you. All right, so here's the attachment. It goes like this. Let's put it on there on the small end. Of course, when I'm trying to show you, it doesn't work. Okay, okay, there we go. And then that goes underneath the little prongs, the little prongs that go under your grip, like that. And then put your sensor on top of here, like this. Okay, so, but I found, I've been watching uh, this other guy on YouTube, his name's Chris Anderson. And he, uh, he has a 3D printer, and he's got the same system and everything. And uh, he came out with... A different attachment and I'll tell you why first <laughs> what happened to me is I was playing in the living room and I was experimenting doing these recordings and stuff like that and um, I tried to do this fancy swing and I, 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 I probably said it on another recording and everything but um, I hit the ceiling fan and uh, it went everyone the thing went flying and then the next day when I tried to use this I didn't notice it uh, but it had a part broken out of it. So that kind of nullified me from hitting the, um, and I've got some, I think I've showed you in another video, the almost golf balls, because I took it outside with my real clubs, I'll put it that way, um, without the swing stick. So I took it outside and was playing and it flew off. So that nullified hitting real balls, because you're supposed to be able to hit real balls with this too. But then when I got to looking at the videos and stuff on, on YouTube and kind of getting some ideas stuff like that that guy Chris Anderson had made these for the 3D printer and you slide them on like that and then your sensor goes in there so no need for these things unless you just want a smaller thinner thing you know to play with the rubber balls and you didn't break yours like I did mine so that's what I'm got out here today and I'm trying and I want to hit some real balls but also I want to record playing and I've got the with the E6 uh, Connect software so I'm going to be playing that so but first we're going to go on the driving range and we're going to see the difference between in the yardage and by the way I've used the uh, Title X um, the original uh, software I guess the, the uh, simulator in the settings of the of the uh, uh, E6 Connect my brain, I keep forgetting stuff. So um, I wanted to test the real balls versus the foam rubber ones. And we'll go from there and then maybe play a few holes and see what the difference is. So. I got the the, the uh, connections, those little connectors on all my clubs I'm going to play with. Really, you only need one club, but we're going to use them all. So I, I got to go get some extra balls here. So we all need... I only need three of those because we're going to test three of the uh, regular balls and three of the foam rubber ones. So the almost golf ball, they're not quite golf balls, I guess, but they work. So let's go to practice and I'll set it up here. Join. And I've done this recording like three or four times a day and it didn't work out. <laughs> so let's go to the driving range. I can actually put on my glove for this. And just to show you, so let's go back. I want to go back to the settings. And I'm trying to make, not make such a long video. So the simulator I have set on the title one instead of the swing logic. And to me, 
it just seems like it's a little bit better I don't know why but if you go to configuration it has the difficulty sensitivity just like the other one if you know what I'm talking about and you've used this and uh, it's got the woods and irons and uh, but it doesn't have putter but it, I changed to a real club and everything's set to normal except my woods and irons I set uh, woods I've got at 10% I'm going to change this to plus 10 on the irons too so there I juiced them a little bit just for the heck of it <laughs> okay except now let's go to practice range we're already there okay so driving range next okay so i'm gonna hit driver of course it's the most fun in the bag felt like a pretty good hit it's like hitting nothing though let's see what we got 208 so not very far. Let's hit two more. Ready. Not bad. Probably a bit better than the other one. Nope, <laughs> the, the other one was better, 184. Okay. So I'm just not comfortable. Ready. Ready. Okay, we'll see. Big draw on that one. Maybe a little bit better. 195 so not that far i mean my average is probably 230 i don't hit long i said 220 230 somewhere in there with a maybe a roll to 240 250 sometimes so let's do some real balls now so i've been hitting a few so this is not my first try with them but That felt pretty good. Two twenty-eight. So that's a little bit better. That's not probably my full potential. I don't think this microphone kind of gets in the way. I think for me. Okay, two more. Get ready. That was a little harder and a fade. Two seventeen, golly! I thought I swung a lot faster than that, so I'm not going that fast. Okay, this last one. This one should be better than the rest of them. 220, so not getting very far. I'm gonna smack one just for the heck of it. Is that, that's not, I don't like that. I know I hit further than that. Now that was, I thought, pretty solid. A little bit faster swing. Let's see where it's got me. 229. So I was out here earlier trying to do this recording and I've hit like 260, 240, 2, two almost uh, 250. So let's do, I know it's kind of cheating. Let's do one more. We did our three balls each. Ready. Oops. I hit the ground on that one. Watch it go way past. Yeah, I launch it, hit the ground, I launch it, and it goes way past. 247. Let's hit a couple more with the foam just, just to see if we can hit it better. 
Ah, oh, that's like hitting the wind. Not very good. Okay, this last one. Ready. And I hit the ground again. No. I said the last one. I, I, I got to get this out of my system. Uh, hit the marker. 205, finally got it to at least 200. So anyway, regardless of that, the foam uh, balls don't go as far as the real ones.